Welcome to the TV5 Vault. I'm Chris Eastlick. 46 years ago, the Edmund Fitzgerald sank in Lake Superior during a storm. But did you know a little over a year earlier, the Fitzgerald lost one of its 12,000 pound anchors in the Detroit River? In today's edition of the TV5 Vault, Rick Mixter takes us back to July of 1992 for the recovery of that anchor. It's hard to believe, but this piece of the Edmund Fitzgerald has been underwater longer than the actual ship has. That's because the anchor was accidentally dropped into the Detroit River just months before she sunk off Whitefish Point in Lake Superior. It's likely that divers may never personally visit the Fitzgerald. She's in some 500 feet of water, but they could easily reach the anchor in just 35 feet of water. In fact, this is often what it's like when we're down here, visibility way down. The anchor was lost in January of 1974 and was pretty much forgotten until just recently. We had the location, the, the, the basic location from the captain of the Fitzgerald, and uh, it, this, this was located less than a quarter of a mile on, on the same line that the Fitzgerald would have been laying in. And we, we spent approximately um, three, to, three to four weeks out there looking for the anchor itself. And on our last dive of the last week, we, we, it did pay off. Detroit weatherman Mel Sellers played a major role in raising the anchor. His interest in the subject started several years ago. I was uh, doing WJR at the time, and I remember the storm and the reports coming over. And uh, I had seen it on the bottom the last few days, but when it came out on the end of the hook, my heart was just uh, beating because it was just magnificent as it came up. And there it is. There's the shackle for the first time. In 18 uh, years, 19 years, there is the 12,000 pound anchor from the Edmund Fitzgerald. Now they're going to bring it and put it. The anchor was covered with zebra mussels, but easily cleaned up with a high pressure water gun this morning. Divers then matched the ID numbers from the anchor to those of the anchor lost by the Fitzgerald in January of 1974. There's all the numbers right here. Isn't that cool? They matched perfectly. Now a permanent part of the DASA Museum, the anchor will eventually get a cement platform to rest on, and will have a plaque in front displaying all the people who helped make the project possible. Support has been overwhelming. Calls even came in from Alaska to help out. It's support that only a ship like the Edmund Fitzgerald could generate. It's just the mystique of the ship. It's, uh, you think of the ocean, you think of the Titanic. When you think of the Great Lakes, everyone thinks of the Edmund Fitzgerald. It's just a famous ship. and. Uh, even people from all over the country that have never been to the Great Lakes have heard of it. That support will go farther than just the anchor project. It's hoped that the extra money raised will go to fund future recovery projects. On Bell Isle in Detroit, this is Rick Mixter for Take 5. If you would like to see the anchor of the Edmund Fitzgerald, it is permanently displayed at the Dawson Great Lakes Museum on Bell Isle in Detroit. We hope you enjoyed this edition of the TV5 Vault. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Eastlake.